Hello and a very warm welcome to today's session brought to you by Team Biotech Exam Prep. I hope all of you are doing really well. Uh, a little relaxed and relieved for sure because all of you commendable job done. Uh, you have written your paper, so many congratulations for that. Uh, of course, how uh, the exam went, we are going to be looking at the analysis, but I think good job done. Some of you were absolutely uh, relentlessly uh, regular with your academics, uh, so I think kudos to you, and you deserve a days off for sure. Uh, just completely rewind yourself. It is perspective of how the paper has gone don't worry about it that is something that we'll just be talking about how was the paper uh, what kind of questions had come we'll be doing like a complete analysis of the paper right now but irrespective i think uh, uh, one thing that has always stayed with me is always extend your hand so what you you're supposed to be doing is like you know keep your hands like this and uh, just pat yourself uh, uh, because all of you irrespective of whether you were studying for the past 6 months 1 month uh, i i would say even a week uh, uh, but still your effort it's really matter a lot so great job done everyone uh, good evening good evening good evening all right so uh, without further ado let's just very quickly get started with today's analysis i will be doing an analysis of both the shifts uh, and thank you so much i'll be naming a few of you um, uh, like i, I think survi raj ena um, uh, these were a few students who had actually uh, worked very closely with our team also uh, to share uh, the details of the questions so that was really commendable uh so we we have the mix of questions now with us and we'll be discussing a few trends a few pattern see the uh, uh, the, the the paper would be coming out for sure very soon uh, but the idea of having such a kind of an analysis is basically to just do a sort of a debrief to just make sure that we know the pattern we know how are we supposed to be studying and let us say if you all haven't filled the gate form please fill it tomorrow is the last date with the late application uh, so definitely uh, do make it a point that you're filling the form okay so uh, without further ado let's just do a sort of an analysis a sort of a complete overall uh, view as to what kind of questions had come uh, first of all uh, like you know a questions i i i heard a lot of you saying that oh there were no questions on british writings that's not true uh, british literature had come for instance uh, uh, in in one of the shifts you had questions very easy questions as to uh, hudi brass is a criticism of or, or you you had questions that were coming from uh, emblems by francis quarles which we had actually done 3 days ago uh, as well if you remember so it's not that british literature did not come at all but it's just that the magnitude of questions that come from british writings had reduced drastically which is a very good change which is a very welcoming change because we are entering an era uh, a lot of things like for instance i think there was uh, there was this uh, reel on abdul jan mohammed um, the post colonial critic and there was a question uh, in one of the options so a lot of content um, and and we'll be looking at uh, a couple of detailed uh, analysis of this but anyway let's just uh, very very quickly let's just very very quickly get started let's just very very quickly uh, dive into a quick analysis uh, and like i said congratulations to all of you for all your hard work uh, hard work doesn't matters right now how your paper went we are going to be doing an analysis see life is a continuous struggle even if your paper would have been excellent okay uh, even if your paper would have been excellent brilliant and you were cracking like a grf immediately uh, still the struggle is not complete right even with the grf you really need to give those interviews you really need to write those research proposals you really need to up your game when it comes to uh, creating those portfolios all together sitting for those interviews and when you sit for an interview it's drastic pain let me just tell you uh, there are times where only for two vacancies there are like 1000 people now who started coming in right uh, so even for two to three vacancies there are like 400 500 people that come in du itself so imagine uh, what what magnitude what quantum of people are we talking about right uh, so always keep that in mind there's always a hustle uh, there's always a struggle attached to it. it's never that we conquer the world entirely um, even napoleon could not do that alexander could not do that so who are we right uh, so so don't stress too much about it it's a continuous struggle just take it as a learning opportunity and move forward uh, create that hustling culture overall and get that excitement thumping we are going to be engaging very um, you know it's it's not that we'll be like uh, putting our efforts and energies to rest because right now all of you are having the momentum all of you are charged up uh, so i think we will continue with that okay good evening everybody good evening good evening yes 
uh, a lot of you are posting the questions on the chat box as well we will look at it we will look at it let's just look at a quick uh, understanding of what kind of questions came in okay what kind of questions came in uh, there were questions and this is from both the shifts shifts 1 and 2 shifts 1 and 2 uh, all right combined uh, so there were questions from of course literary theory criticism cultural studies for instance there was a question in which you had to identify that who is the person who coined the term bricolage desin right who is the person who coined the term bricolage desin parapraxis etc so there was this entire question where you had to uh, basically respond that who's the creator of the word so these kind of questions you're already aware that you know you will get a question that will ask you for instance if it's heidegger or levi strauss uh, these are questions about terms literary terms and can you just imagine in one of the shifts i think it's shift two uh, in shift two there were three questions on new criticism not one not two but three questions on new criticism so imagine uh, uh, it looks as if oh, they, they must have completed, they must have exhausted all the questions on new criticism, but there's never a dearth of any question. There was a question on intentional fallacy in one of these shifts where three questions have come. There was a question that was coming on uh, the features of new criticism and there was another question. So imagine three questions coming in one shift on new criticism only. So you will have to up your game if in case you think that your paper went like moderate to not so good. If you're falling under that particular category, I would say start working on these topics. Like, um, uh, I don't know, I, I think in the first shift, perhaps there were more questions on American writings. But one of the shifts had questions like only the character of Santiago, the character of Santiago, right? Uh, the character of Santiago is an old man and the sea, the character of Santiago that you're able to see. So not many questions but what I would recommend is right now start with these questions there were so many questions on Indian aesthetics there were like three good questions from Indian aesthetics that you were able to see in one of the shift right so old man and the sea the character of Santiago that had actually come uh, there were questions by the way there were questions from reader response theory as well there was a question from reader response theory the features of reader response theory what is the reader response theory uh, primarily emphasizing on there was a question that had actually come on this right the features of reader response theory uh, then questions related to uh, the idea of sign that is given by charles sanders peers so charles sanders peers is actually coming up is coming up uh, with with this entire notion of sign and what all is included in this notion of sign there was a question that was coming from there so charles sanders peers charles sanders peers there was a complete question that had come now first of all what does this tells us I, I will of course talk about more questions but what does this tells us this tells us that we need to strengthen and be a little more organized all right a little more organized if you thought that you were not able to ace this part right if you thought that these questions you couldn't get them right just be a little more structured in covering literary theory uh, literary criticism literary theory literary criticism as well as cultural studies even if you're methodological these questions were not difficult at all these questions about terms these three questions on new criticism the the question on reader response theory and the features that you had to identify of reader response theory or the question on sign what is charles sanders pierce notion of the sign these were not difficult questions provided if you have studied if you have studied these three components and you know what are we now going to be coming up with uh, we're going to be coming up with workshops all right uh, this i think uh, was was something that i really thought that you know sometimes what happens is because now uh, we've got an information overload i think on youtube also we are, we're touching like a uh, around uh, more than 500 lectures on youtube and this is a student told me about it i was not aware about it i thought we were somewhere close to about 350 uh, but there are like almost 500 videos that we only have for english right so i i know it gets like a little chaotic at times and you cannot go over all the videos right so uh, i personally was thinking that we can have workshops like you know this, this entire maybe in four or 
five hours entirely cover a basic level of American literature, then four five hours cover a me, uh, intermediate level of American literature, and then advance just like you know probably practicing questions from that topic. So we we will of course make uh, changes from our end also uh, because now there is like an information overload. I think last two times what was happening is that there were sufficient number of lectures which were available for students uh, to like you know study from, but now uh, all of you as and when you are joining there's an information overload right there are over 500 lectures not that you shouldn't watch those lectures those lectures would be fundamentally helpful for all of you to build your uh, core competencies and i will also keep on sharing that you know certain previous lectures that you can always go over right so this was uh, like you know first type of questions that you you were able to largely see then there were questions from ethnographic research you had got questions that had come from ethnographic research right so, uh, so when when we when we are essentially looking at the entire notion of ethnographic research methodology, we are in, uh, we are essentially going to be looking at ethno. Uh, so, so, so uh, these are the various kinds. Rather, in uh, paper one, one of the students had reported that there was a question on autoethnography, right? There was a question on autoethnography. So, uh, ethnographic research has also become very important, especially in today's time where we are we are uh, challenging the notion of a single narrative. We are into a deconstructive era. So, ethnographic research was paving a very important role. There was a question related to, I think, in the same question only, perhaps. Uh, so, of course, uh, this was just an analysis, and students have been very helpful uh, in helping us with memory. Uh, so, once when the paper will come, we will, of course, discuss it in greater detail. But there were there was like you know an entire um, there was this entire question about Janus. So this was, I think, the same question that the child was telling us uh, that uh, Janus Radway. Janus Radway is written reading the romance. So there was a question related to that: reading the romance, ethnographic research, reading the romance, ethnographic research. So that was the question that had actually come. So uh, again, uh, the, uh, the, the there was by the way a lot of you keep on asking what is the importance of classical writing. So Aristophanes, there was a complete question on match the following in one of the shifts where you had to match. There were four plays of Ar Ar Aristophanes: Archeans, Clouds, Lysistrata, Wasps. So there were there were these four plays of Aristot uh, Aristophanes: Lysistrata. Lysistrata, crowds, clouds, and archaeans. So these four plays of Aristophanes and their themes, their themes, you had to match, you had to match them. You had to match them with the themes that were coming in, right? So what were you able to see? You were able, yes, of course, of course, Shabani. Uh, 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 so in one of the shifts, there was a question on gynocriticism and in the other, there was a question related to Elaine Shaw Walter. So gynocriticism also they had given you a question. Classical literature, there was a question that was asked over here from the works of Aristophanes. Ethnographic research, reading the romance by Janice Rad uh, Radway's uh, part was included in ethnographic research. Then, of course, Ned's favorite match the following. They'll always be evergreen, uh, you know, uh, and, and then there is a trick, but not a lot of match the following scheme. For instance, uh, there was one question in which they had asked you about German ideology. They had asked you, we, we will be doing a complete paper analysis once when the uh, paper officially comes out, when, when it's going to be on the website, we'll do a complete analysis. And uh, like I said, from our end, this time onwards, we'll A, start having workshops, like I said. Second, we'll have like a, a stock of a lot of people were even asking that, you know, where should we do the papers from? So we'll also come up with uh, paper analysis in a structured way so that all of you can just plug and play those videos. Even if you can just plug and play those videos, you can have all the papers assembled at one particular place and then you can revise that. So uh, there was this question on German uh, German ideology and in the same question, in the same question, they asked, uh, you know, they asked elementary, they had asked about elementary, elementary structures of kingship, elementary structures elementary structures of kingship right elementary structures of kingship so uh, there was this entire question where you have to match the, uh, the the following then there was a question that you know john Men mendewals uh, uh, so so in which language are you able to see so you have to look at the development of english literature and which all dialects are these Engli uh, these writings coming in so john sir john mendewals uh, 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 mendewals travels that we are actually looking at in which language was it coming 
so again language becomes like a major uh, question that that you know that that was largely seen in the uh, in the paper then there was a question that you know who is advocating oral history oral history and like i said you should also look at the various options that are there the various options that are coming in right uh, sylvia plack is a very important writer very important poet paul thompson has also started coming even in your multiple recent entrances there were questions on thompson there was question on stedman stedman was also asked over here so these kind of questions were actually coming in uh, we will be having a separate session very soon where we'll try and cover the minute the paper comes out we'll have like a separate session a complete analysis of the paper with questions and with in detail uh, solution sets also so don't worry but right now the entire idea is to make sure that all of you are uh, are are basically understanding what kind of questions had come you you're able to do like a sort of a stock check so even if you're starting with your uh, preparation for the next attempt say in 2 to 3 days uh, and and i would say just start okay don't don't uh, don't worry too much about studying 8 hours the way that you were studying before the exam but i would still say that at least study at least study so from saturday onwards take out your books start studying start writing start uh, 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 you know accommodating literature in your day to day schedule Uh, try other engagements as well but keep literature also as a priority that will really be very helpful for all of you okay remember that so uh, these kind of questions had actually come uh, also there were questions about reading national geographic i think this was a part of the ethnographic research only reading national geographic uh, this was a part of the ethnographic research only then there were questions that had actually come from uh, the 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 oxford poets so to say right you you had got questions coming from the oxford poets and their poet tree for instance cargoes is there you are having pylons is coming right pylons is coming the pylons so who are these writers who are these poets 20th century poetry so that is what i'm saying it's not that british literature did not come but it was the quantity was sufficiently reduced right uh, but there were critical questions if you were studying british literature i think you would have got most of the questions right i think you would have got most of the questions on british writings absolutely right uh that would have definitely been there yes mamta and that too uh, i think uh, it was reported that shakespeare there was an adaptation question i'll, I'll just be coming on to that i'll be i'm slowly and steadily moving i think it was uh, it was tufan right uh, there was a question that had actually come on tufan so again adaptations of shakespeare's plays uh, that were coming that were being asked so you had a question from tufan that had come right tufan that had actually come so dev veera swami's fun is based on shakespeare's writings and there was another question that shakespeare's othello shakespeare's othello has been used by which of the following is it brathwaite is it derek walcott and there were other options right shakespeare's othello is being used uh, there then uh, the concept of bowling alone in usa which is telling you about disintegrating family system the concept of bowling alone so one thing that you know i will tell you what do we get from here let me just tell you uh, there is a great amount of shift there is a great amount of shift in terms of giving more questions on popular culture giving questions on popular culture because there were questions on bhakti also by the way there was a question in one of the shift on carnival the concept of the carnival the bhaktinian concept of the carnival there was a question on that so popular culture has to be read uh, your your subaltern studies diasporic literature there was a question on farooq dhundi farooq dhundi uh, minakshi mukherjee so uh, subaltern studies your diasporic literature your indian women writings there were questions on indian women writing rather there were three questions on indian women writings that you were able to see right i'll 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 just be uh, sharing all those details advice to women for instance right advice to women advice to women so i would say first make these clusters the topics that we we actually forget the topics that we forget have to be now uh, you know most of the times when you're you're doing your own individual studies uh, uh, so so uh, even on youtube by the way there are multiple videos that we've made on diasporic literature indian women writings indian literature uh, the, if you just go on uh, youtube and you just like you know type a diasporic literature by jose exam prep we have a video or if you go uh, and you know you, you even if on youtube you will be able to see a lot of content that we've done but the thing is that these topics we actually take them as secondary we do not really uh, take a lot of stress and pains in covering these topics but they're very interesting topics 
they're actually very very interesting topics altogether right the very very uh yes sandeep there was one shift where uh that there was a publication date questions for shakespeare's plays also that was asked absolutely right absolutely right so uh these kinds of questions these kinds of questions are clearly trying to tell you that this time if you had missed out on those questions try to re restructure your studies take these dalit writings there was a question on dalit literature so uh, subaltern studies diasporic literature popular culture all of these questions should be dealt with first the practice you should do it first right that will be very very helpful as a kind of a uh, approach that you will be following now okay uh, so please keep that aspect in mind then uh, there were uh, there were there was by the way there were questions on narratology narratology is again a very very popular topic so there was a question on the types of narrator that gerard genet is talking about right types of narrator the types of narrator that we are able to see that uh, that genet talks about that genet is predominantly talking about that gerard genet is talking about uh, even if you you would have actually studied peter berry only for narratology also you would have actually cracked this question correctly then there was a question on uh, on and, and this is something that we did in one of the practice session as well right this is how we say that practice questions repeat themselves so francis quarles uh, uh emblems there was a question that had actually come we also did a question on emblems so this is how the questions then uh, surprisingly very simple questions from victorian age in one of the shift there was a match the following between maggie tulliver and mill on the floss being the right answer and then there were questions on dramatic monologue there was a question that had come on abbot Wog wogler right abbot wogler so easy questions on victorian age so it's not that questions on british literature didn't come it is just that all of you have now mastered british literature to such a such a degree and extent that uh, most of you could actually comfortably answer most of the questions because in one of the shift you had questions coming from british writings over 15 of them so it's only when you go back and are you counting would you be able to actually uh, you know so so for instance there were there was also a question that had come from the satires of three estate satires of three estates satires of three estate right by linstay by linstay so any any time whenever you're looking at the development of drama you always cover this topic you're always covering satires of the three estate you're always looking at that then there was a question on high seriousness that matthew arnold talks about high seriousness while talking about john milton right uh, the 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 concept of high seriousness and which other writer talks about high seriousness altogether right uh, this is what i was telling you this this was like i think uh, one of the instagram post also that we read with you there was a question in one shift that which among the following post colonial writers which among the following post colonial writers are inspired by lacan are inspired by derrida are inspired by foucault are inspired by foucault so they'd given you like a list of post colonial critics and then they had asked you that which among the following post colonial critic which among the following post colonial critic was inspired by these three and then there was also a question in one of the shifts where you you got the question real symbolic imaginary aid real symbolic imaginary 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 aid uh, aid a super ego so there are these terms that were given which among the following is actually only a giving of lacan lacan is the only person so are these questions difficult is my question to you and the answer is an absolute no if you have been very structured and trust me you know anybody who felt that these questions you were not able to attempt my humble advice to all of you would be now start it's never too late to start it's never ever too late to start just start compiling your notes of literary theory and criticism in a very structured manner in a very very structured manner this time because these notes will be helpful for you in your long term career also 
right uh, you know when when you start teaching at college level when you start teaching um, at at uh, universities you will see that you're delivering lectures see literary theory and criticism will always be there right literary theory and criticism is a lens and perspective which is teaching people that how can they actually uh, read a particular work of literature so this is never going to be going out of vogue till the time humanities is there rather this is giving an interdisciplinary approach to literature and literary studies overall right so you need to remember that so my my only uh, uh, this thing would be that these questions are not difficult these questions are and these the the bulk of these questions will actually british literature these questions they'll get you towards targeting the paper and making the paper look like you know that yes it's it's a moderate level paper paper altogether right so uh, please keep that in mind yes there was there was uh, by pinter there was a question on which among the following is actually known for eugenics that was a question from british writings postmodernism is also very heavily tilted towards british writings only right postmodernism is is literally heavily tilted towards uh, british writings only we'll make more content on the paper also till the time before the uh, the actual paper comes in so that you know you you can actually uh, do a stock check and analysis of how your paper went uh, then there was a, there was a same question second uh, second february second february 1845 how you are able to see that macaulay's minutes is coming minutes on education in one of the shifts there was a question when is macaulay's minutes on education coming english in india direct question that had come right so uh, so always keep that in mind that these questions are not difficult these questions are not difficult you just have to uh, then there was a question that had come on christina there was a question on robert browning's christina robert browning's christina and the theme of christina the theme that robert browning is using in christina that was asked the works of tagore you had to highlight bande mataram is taken from taken from where the works of tagore you had to identify where is bande mataram coming from then there was a question where you had and and this again uh, there was an instagram post that we shared on the telegram group on random uh, 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 so so we had done this quote on random behen behen we had actually covered very very recently so that is what we are saying the content is all across and you know around you it's just that you have to be a little more structured if you thought that the paper was a little tilted towards and you know you you couldn't really answer most of the questions no no harm at all that's perfectly all right give it another shot but be very clear about what mistakes did you complete uh, what mistakes did had you committed that is something which is really important if you will not do an analysis of the mistakes then it will be difficult so there was a question where you had to actually match there were works of roddy doyle you have to figure out which one is right roddy doyle abraham stoker so post modern writing so that is what i'm saying do an analysis cs lewis the chronicles of narnia so which of them was like you know correctly matched which of them colfer's work colfer's work i think colfer i was about to give a post but we hadn't uh, but definitely there was a post that had gone uh, on telegram platform on brendan behen behen we had done this question also right uh, so that is why if you get a post you should dive ideally deeper into that content so again telling you that these are the topics literary theory literary criticism literary theory literary criticism cultural studies uh, then your american literature subaltern studies diasporic literature afro american writings indian writings and indian aesthetics very very important i'm so proud that you know a lot of these questions had um, been asked from here so they're trying to shift the focus altogether british literature post modernism post modernism cover these topics first then popular culture popular culture again popular culture becomes important dalit writings there was a question on dalit writing so these are the kind of questions that you have to be aware about there was a question about who translated the bhagavad gita who was the translator of the the uh, the, uh, the first ever english version of bhagavad gita how who had translated that then there was a very interesting question even if you knew that who is the writer of zoya factor and you should be knowing because there's a movie also that is coming or i think it's already been made by the way there was another question on movie life of pi life of pi and uh, there was remains of the day which among the following booker award winning books has also been made into a movie so booker award there were four direct questions that had come there were four direct questions that had come 
one uh, one there was a question on short stories one there was a question on uh, short stories that uh, a student had reported right there was a question that had come on on short stories as well uh, yeah gitanjali shri gitanjali shri so booker award also you had got questions from booker award as well right you had got these questions so uh, gitanjali gitanjali shri gitanjali shri's short story you had to identify you have to identify right uh, so yeah so these these writers who translated the geeta first zoya factor was a match the following even if you knew zoya factor who's written it you would have been able to answer it uh, correctly all right you would have largely been able to answer it correctly uh, then there were questions on women writings there were a lot of questions on women writings i think take uh, like i always say take feminism in a very structured way women of palestine women of palestine women of palestine 8 um, 1982 and it's rightfully so we've studied men's literature for you know since time immemorial since classical times so it's high time that you know we are keeping women at the epicenter uh, we are having indian women in struggle indian women in struggle indian women in struggle so there were these questions there were these questions that were being asked there were these questions uh, that were being asked and what kind of questions the, the kind of questions that you were having from here was that um, you had to basically highlight you basically had to talk about how what are the central themes in women of palestine indian women in struggle then there were questions from niraj c choudhury's writings you have to identify niraj c choudhury Nirad C. Chaudhary's works, right? Autobiography of an Unknown Indian, A Passage to England. You have to identify which ones were there. You had a question coming from Gayatra, Gayatra Bahadur, Gayatra Bahadur. I think there was a question either related to Bahadur's works or the origin. Student hasn't really clarified that. Then Canada literature, Canada literature, the Vechana movement. This we had done it in a free app class also. I I categorically remember, not more than three months ago. vachana movement like in the in in the span of these three months only we talked about it in kannada literature vachana movement we spoken about it right uh, then uttar ram charita the various versions of uh, uh, ramayan that's a part of comparative literature this is again a classroom free lecture that we had spoken about the various we had spoken about the various uh, uh, various translations various adaptations of uh, valmiki's ramayana being one such adaptation so various uh, adaptations of ramayana the story that we are having there was a question from jerome k jerome's three men in a boat three men in a boat the the book that you all used to read as as students right as as school students if you remember uh then there were these questions like uh, who is the writer i think associated with women on edge of time women on edge of time or there was a thematic question like i said once these are all um, all students like you who are trying to help us with memory uh, so give them the benefit of memory all together but having said that i think all of you should uh, uh, you know just wait and and the minute the paper comes out entirely we have the full paper for both the shifts we are going to be immediately uh, turning on to youtube and definitely doing a sort of an analysis all together okay so uh, that is something govin will talk about it where you you saw a lot of questions concentrated from but like that's exactly what i'm saying there are there was an even distribution this time there was an absolute even distribution this time of questions coming from all categories just that british writings took a little bit of hit earlier if you were having 25 questions of british writings you had like 15 odd questions but there were questions it's not that completely i saw one analysis saying five but then i read uh, how many questions had come i said no all these are also british writings okay so uh, don't think that uh, you know it's, it's having a very silent death because a lot of your post modern literature is an adaptation of the previously written works of british writers remember that also no okay so that is also equally important for you to keep in mind then there were uh, then there was this uh, there were these questions about who what uh, you know these these statements that you are having these famous statements that you are having i was in indignant i demanded i was indignant i demanded explanation i demanded explanation nothing happened i burst apart explanation nothing happened 
nothing happened i burst apart i i will be giving you solutions also the minute the paper comes in we'll do a in detailed analysis but we'll cover one or two questions every day uh via post also so that you understand where were these questions again concentrated even though we'll talk about it burst burst sorry this is b-u-r-s-t burst apart burst apart okay i was indignant i demanded explanation nothing happened i burst apart um women on the edge i've told you already then uh we are going right we are going we are going yeah so there was a question that had come on we are going as well there was a question on we are going that had come in your exam uh then there were questions on lines that you had to match right my kingdom my kingdom my kingdom for a horse my kingdom for a horse so there were these lines that you actually had to match and there was also a question where you had to match so there was there was basolo basola from duchess of malfi doll common doll common from alchemist so you had to match the characters and i've been saying jacobian age is all about character mapping you had to match the characters that had come malvolio's character also i think was here uh, somebody had mentioned okay uh, so uh, my kingdom for a horse time out of joint time out of joint time out of joint there is there is no art there is no art to find minds there is no art to find minds minds construction minds construction minds construction in the face minds construction in the face minds construction in the face there's no art to find minds construction in the face the better part of valor is discretion 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 right so uh, a lot of these questions that were coming in from lines but you don't have to worry like i said there were just one then there were questions okay again clear cut previous year's questions are very very important you saw that in emblems you saw that in emblems by francis quarrelis and you saw that not only that in multiple other questions like there was a question on diary writing in one of the shift samuel papies right so there, who is definitely like a diary writer samuel papies is writing so there was a question or uh, this is a clear cut example my remembered village my remembered village coming from previous year's question my remembered village is something that is coming from your previous year's questions then you had works like saguna you had women's uh, centric writings hindu wife saguna so he, women either women uh, feminist uh, questions or, or or novels that were having women characters those were also like a big big hit in your uh, examination this time uh, then who is coining terms are always very important who is the person who is helping us with the term the movement uh, you had questions about the general in his labyrinth so marquez is coming again general in his labyrinth general in his labyrinth there was a question on general in his labyrinth 1991 bright comes to yellow sky man who liked dickens there was erwin's welsh writing novels that were asked right so there were there were questions from erwin welsh's writings erwin welsh's writings there were there were there were questions that were asked right uh, a lot of questions that uh, a lot of people have been sharing let me let me just uh, let me just also one second just a second just opening the page yeah uh this is uh this is who who has sent this i'm also acknowledging a couple of you i think some of you have been like really uh helpful uh our team is uh, our team was in touch with uh with you okay yes uh let me just let me just very quickly open this yeah uh bowling alone we've already i've already told you bowling alone uh yes which of the following is true about dramatic monologues which of the following is true about dramatic monologues where is the term vande mataram taken from which is not used by dickens 
I don't know who had shared this because my team shared this particular uh, uh, message. But whoever this is, really good job done. I think it, it is. I think Surbi only because Surbi Raj and Ina. Uh, I think both of them had really been. Uh, th they were the ones whom I had contacted. I think Surbi had done that. Ina had done that. Ina had mailed me also. Wait, let me just take out Ina's mail also. One second, just a second. I'll also take uh, this out. Uh, Right, I think that was uh, by and large a eh, just a second. I'm just taking. I'm just seeing if I've missed out on any email um, that had actually come. Uh, one second. Okay, Sagnik has also sent. Sagnik had also sent. Uh, the questions. Okay. Okay, so so we had a lot of you. I think a lot of you have mailed it to me uh, as well, right? So there was Sagnik, there was Gaurav, there was Ina, Rupesh, Surbi. Priya, I'll take a look at Juhi was the first one. Juhi was actually the first person, but Juhi had not uh, given any questions. But still, Juhi was the first email that I'd got. I'll, I'll acknowledge all of you on the Telegram platform as well. But thanks so much for sharing. I think uh, the, there was a great amount of support that you helped our team with. Uh, so that was really very, very helpful. Thanks, everyone. Uh, but like I said, see, identifying of course, why is this? Why are we killing the curiosity right now? So that first of all, I want all of you to definitely rest today. Don't worry too much. Uh, rather, there is an interesting competition that we will be having for all of you today. Uh, all right, there is an interesting competition that we'll have. We'll open it for all of you today. So that compulsorily also, compulsorily also, uh, you are uh, going to. Uh, such uh, these were the questions actually we, we got from both the shifts actually. Right, so these were the questions that we we got from both the uh, both the shifts all uh, all together. But Sheila saying, okay, one second, one second. Um, Sheila, no, these are all the questions that we've included from both the shifts actually. Uh, okay, uh, there there are more, there are more, there are more. Uh, so there there are questions. There there's a question on the tractarian movement. Uh, there was a question on Lucky Jim. There was a question on Siege of Krishnapur. Uh, and uh, you know troubles basically there was a question that you know which of the following works is not dealing with anglo-irish issues altogether doris lessing was also asked uh vs naipaul was there amita Ghosh was asked right uh, so so a lot of these questions were by and large coming in your uh in your shift but uh, yeah there was also rhetoric and prosody in both the shifts there was there was rhetoric and prosody in both the shifts that was asked and very simple question in one of the shifts even if you knew that which uh, figure of speech are they talking about like is it a uh, is it a speech uh, you know is is it uh, something which is helping you with comparison or with what then also you would have actually then also you would have actually uh, been able to figure it out right so uh, that is of course I, like i said i will see there was readily rightly text then there are questions related to poet laureates uh, there are questions that are coming uh, from the the shakespearean uh, analysis like you know the, the the questions about how you're supposed to be putting them in chronological order so uh, basically what you have to keep in mind right now is that of course it's not that british literature is entirely obsolete but the concentration is less so therefore my recommendation to everybody who probably felt that the paper was from moderate to difficult the first thing that you have to do right now is rest but after that if you have not filled in please fill in the gate form <coughs> any other form that is coming for literature do fill it in it'll be a good practice for all of you that is something which is really important uh secondly no need to worry completely right now there's no need for you to stress about it uh because let the answer keys come out let the papers come out then you can do a proper uh, evaluation but you you would have got an idea right like there were a few of you who had mentioned that you know uh, uh that uh, either uh, one or two of you did really badly and i think paper one also like a uh, one 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 child i think has as uh dm'd me so i i need to just actually see that and she had written that um she she had written that you know that paper one i i just clicked on the right answers for D, uh, di this was the first shift so uh, i i think 
there, there's a lot of scope for all of all of you to improve so there's no need for you to worry about it. it's not the end of the world for sure uh, but i hope there was a lot of excitement while giving the exam you would have actually uh, got a taste of it i think some of you were not even probably sitting if in case you were not sitting for three hours in a go uh, it would have been uh, at least easier for all of you to just sit and get that information and like i said from our end we will try and structure because like the quantum of information now that is available for you is like huge so we'll try to get more workshops uh, streamlined and prepped up so that you can have it at one place uh, but having said that just relax and be very structured and organized and take it like you know step by step right okay great uh, if there are any other questions that have not been covered please feel free to mail it to us we'd love to incorporate those but like i said uh, once when the paper comes out we will be discussing it at length please feel free to mail it to me uh, uh, you know at nisha.raheja at the rate grade up dot co at the rate grade up dot co please feel free to uh, mail the questions some of you have been very very helpful already uh, please stay connected with us on the telegram platform we are coming up with a couple of new announcements uh, everything we actually stay in touch keep in touch via the telegram platform so be a part of it uh, and and don't leave it why because you know a lot of times we are creating this culture of appreciation uh, so so that is of course there uh, and thanks so much everyone i think all of you have put in a lot of hard work effort so kudos to all of you for that uh, commendable job done uh, many many congratulations rather for that keep the speed and momentum going rest right now um, i'll i'll release a, a competition that i have for all of you on the telegram platform participate in that competition as well and uh, let's circle back on on saturday onwards let's just uh, quickly get back on full uh, in full swing and classroom students you are getting a respite of an hour uh, so uh, we, instead of starting at 9 because i know uh, that most of you uh, would have actually come from your shift and then the analysis took place uh, we'll start with your class at 9:45 Uh, instead of nine o'clock, so uh, please join us at nine forty-five. Don't miss it, uh, classroom students. It's just like uh, um, you know, it's a question of an hour and a half. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Herman Hesse's. Uh, Herman Hesse's writing. Where was it written? Siddhartha was written in which language originally? Absolutely right. So uh, that is what I'm saying. Now some of your friends have been very helpful in sharing these details. Now you will all be able to recollect, remember, and that is how memory. This is what we call uh, in modernism as the streams of consciousness, right? Now all of you will be able to um, actually. open up that uh do do try and make sure do try and make sure that all of you take a little bit of rest but still capture all these questions because right now it's fresh in your mind but otherwise even if you're not able to remember it's okay because the papers will come out eventually uh and we will be doing a stock check and an analysis but today we just wanted to catch up and we wanted to meet all of you uh to just let all of you know that uh, that you know all of you have done really well um and uh, yes yes let's see what the cut off uh, uh, has in store for you let's not conjecture right now all right thanks everyone uh, enjoy your evening enjoy your day i have a competition for all of you on the telegram platform do participate in that competition and let's just kill it for the next uh, uh, next attempt if you're if you're thinking that you'll not be able to clear this or for the upcoming other exams that you're having like the gate exam or other set exams or the phd exams that you're having let's just get back on track our focus is going to be to build successful careers via literature thank you so much everyone take good care of yourselves get a lot of positivity eat something good uh, have a nice sleep watch something nice if you've not really uh, watched anything for a really long time take good care of yourselves right and and be appreciative of whatever hard work that you've put in because i think all of you have done really well okay thank you so much everyone take good care thanks madhusmita god bless you all um, all right great so we'll we'll pause over here thank you so much take care yes mohammed of course start taking your phd also seriously all right thanks so much you have to start saying spivak bawa uh, uh this will be very helpful but if you can also share uh, you know if you can now i can see these comments coming in uh, if you can also share it over email whatever comes to your mind what all kind of questions that come we'll try to compile them and you know share all these details all right thanks everyone take good care of yourselves god bless each one of you take care bye <coughs>